Hi, I'm Rob from We Keep You Cycling, and today the ISM Podium, Prologue, and Time Trial Saddles. ISM stands for Ideal Saddle Modification, and what they've opted to do is take a very unconventional approach to making a saddle. After five years in development, the ISM Podium saddle features a 130 millimeter wide rear and a cutout that starts from the mid and goes to the front. The concept here, spend your time mid to front and you enjoy the benefit of the cutout. Spend your time towards the nose and you get the benefit of this beak shape to reduce pressure or the nose from pushing back up on you, say while climbing or hanging off the front. What's slightly different is the fact that the nose transitions very quickly into the rear of the saddle and you get 130 millimeters of width fairly quickly compared to an average saddle design which has a longer thinner nose transitioning into bigger wings or rear. The mid and back of the saddle are also very flat. Underneath you have round titanium rails with a fair amount of usable clamp area and a composite nylon shell that is both forgiving and relatively light. Saddle weighs in at 312 grams, and for anatomically correct saddles, this is about par for the course, maybe slightly heavier than the competing SMP saddle. Taking what they've learned from the podium, ISM produces the prologue. The podium for some riders was not wide enough, and for its size could induce a slight amount of chafing on the nose. On the podium, you get a width of 135 millimeters, five millimeters wider than the podium, and the nose is shaped slightly differently. These are considered rails in the construction method of the saddle, and they are squeezed in ever so slightly to reduce the total width at the tip while retaining approximately the same cutout size. This means if you get close to the nose, hang off the front, it reduces the chances of chafing, and I must say, it's quite an effective improvement if you're going to get chafing on the podium. Slight change underneath, titanium rails are abandoned, it picks up 8 grams of weight, same composite nylon shell, and same flat uppers. The ISM time trial saddle is specifically built for a TT or tri position where you spend most of your time on the nose. What they've done here is beefed up the nose section with additional padding and also the length of material on the nose. You'll see it actually has a taller profile, and this is so that while your leg is pivoting or rubbing against the saddle, there are no sharp edges or areas that create unwanted chafing. It's a little shorter, and it's also narrower, specifically designed for folks who are not moving around. Flipping the saddle over reveals nice rails moved further forward to the nose with a large clampable area to get you into that position you need. And you'll also notice this little hook built into the shell of the saddle designed for tri riders who need to hang their bike in a transition area. A nice little touch. The cutout on these saddles is not effective towards the rear. And that's simply because of the way they've designed it. As I mentioned, ISM intends to have two full inches of unused space on the rear of the saddle. Attempt to get back there you move off the cutout and you'll find the saddle uncomfortable. That's really the only downside I can mention. The padding on all of them is a little bit higher density than average, but it's got quite a fair bit of comfort for good sit bone relief for folks who have tender sit bones. I'm Rob with We Keep You Cycling, and these are the ISM Podium, Prologue, and Time Trial saddles. If you have any questions about these saddles or any of the saddles we carry, drop us a line or email us, info at wekeepyoucycling.com.